So now I'm going to move on to some special tests that are actually upper motor neuron that can be done at the beginning of the motor exam. Can I get you to put your arms straight out like this? Okay, I want you to close your eyes. So this is the pronator drift. If uh, he had a small upper motor neuron cortical lesion, he might start to pronate and drop his arm a little bit, but he's not doing that. Great, you can open your eyes. And now I want you to look at me and then take your hands and roll them over each other. Again, if you had a mild upper motor neuron lesion, you might see one arm not move and the other one circumducted. Great, you can just relax like that. Next, we're going to move on to the cerebellar exam. And the first test we're going to do is the finger to nose. So what I want you to do is take uh, your right hand, take your finger and touch your nose, and then touch my finger, okay? And go back as fast as possible. I'm going to be moving my finger. Faster. Perfect. And then the other hand, please. Fast as possible. Perfect. Okay. Um, and what I'm looking for there is if he had some dysmetria where he kind of overcorrected and then uh, missed the target, which he didn't have. So the next thing you're going to look for is rapid alternating movement or dystyatical kinesia. So what I want you to do is take one hand and put the other hand like this, okay, and go like this as fast as you can. So he has a very regular cadence to it. Good. Other hand. And if it was abnormal, sort of be an irregular sort of jerky rhythm. Perfect. Now we're going to do similar things on the lower leg. Okay. And what I want you to do for this is the heel uh, shin test, where you take your heel, put it over here on your shin and slide it up to your knee, and then down as fast as possible. Good. And the other leg. Up and down as fast as possible. Okay. Perfect. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take your foot and tap it on my hand as fast as you can and has a nice regular cadence to it, and again. Excellent, perfect. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to get you to stand up, please. Okay. And what I want you to do is put your feet together. We're going to do the Romberg test. We haven't done it yet until we ask him to close his eyes, but I first want to see if there's any truncal swaying, which there does not appear to be, uh, which is good. If there was, that might suggest he has some cerebellar disease. Now I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And if he now started to sway to the point of falling over, that would suggest his dorsal column's proprioception is affected, which it doesn't appear to be. Great, you can open your eyes and you can put your feet more natural. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to walk. So first I'm going to ask you to walk to the wall. Go ahead. Then turn around and walk on your tippy toes. Okay, and then turn around and walk on your heels. And then turn around and walk with one foot in front of the other. You're walking on a straight line. These are all tests of uh, gait and balance together, and everything is perfect there. Great. You can have a seat. And that concludes the neurologic exam.